lot of times with young players, young elite players, when people talk about you going to the NBA when you're like 11 years old, you get caught up in the hype. And if you never face any kind of pressure, like real pressure, adversity, when you when you meet some adversity, you don't know how to react. You don't know how to handle it. You don't know how to adjust. And if you got parents who tippy toe around you, they tell you how great you are. Now it's nothing wrong with it's nothing wrong with parents telling you how great you are. It builds confidence. But they also got to be stern with you. They got to be real with you. They got to be honest with you, so you can handle some things going forward. Now, Amani Davis. I've been reading about him for the last four years. The last four years, they was talking about he was going to the NBA. Talking about he was the next Kevin Durant. He faced some adversity. Yeah, you gotta be honest with your kids. And when they mess up, tell them they messed up. Everything can't be kid gloves with, with your kids. Now, Imani Bates is sticking it up. Well, he was sticking it up at Memphis. And now he has some kind of back injury, and he's gone. He's ghost. Baba said he got to get his back checked out. His back's not right. Quiet as kid. They're a better basketball team without Amani Bates. Please watch the gap. Now, Amani Bates is 17 years old. He's going to be okay. If he stayed at Memphis, took his lumps, worked on his game, he still could be a top pick in the NBA draft in a couple years. But when you got adversity, you got to be able to meet it head on and navigate it, not run from it. So I just read that he's out of the tournament, uh, Amani Bates. So you got to get his head right. got to get mentally stronger. Get his back right if his back is really messed up. Amani Bates thought he was going to just dominate college basketball like he did high school basketball and AAU and all that. You got, you, you, got, you got real good basketball players that play in college. Guys that's on your level. So it was a shock to him when he was not able to do the things in college that he did in high school. And I think he lost a little bit of confidence, started blaming others instead of just working hard. Then his father took his side. Of course, your father going to take his side. But you got to work. That's what it is. You got to work hard. Meet that challenge head on. He didn't do it. On another note, former first round pick for the Minnesota Vikings in 2020, Jeff Gadney played 15 games in 2020. He was accused of domestic violence. He didn't take no plea deal. He ain't paid nobody off. And you know what happened? They threw the case out. He was found not guilty. Now, Minnesota, they cut them. They thought they was doing what's, what was best for their franchise. I get that, but they should have waited a little bit. Now he's going to be a free agent. He's a promising player. Somebody's going to sign him. And he'll move on with his career. But I'm glad he didn't take no kind of deal. If you didn't do nothing wrong, don't settle. Fight it out in the courts. Obviously, this was a sham case. An argument over content on the phone. And then it escalated to probably just maybe arguing. And she accused him of doing something wrong. Trying to end his career? Nah. Glad he held 